and we will start with the Super Bowl runner-up, and that would be the Kansas City Chiefs. They went 14-2 and last year, won the division. They uh, Their team needs, again, these are aggregated from a bunch of different websites, just looking through what everybody thinks they needed. Uh, they needed center, linebacker, wide receiver, tight, uh, sorry, not tight end, tackle, excuse me. Um, yeah. You know, okay, I kind of like what they did in the draft here. There wasn't, there were not a ton of needs other than their offensive line, but they kind of sort of started to fix that even before the draft started with the trade for Orlando Brown Jr. Uh, traded away their first round pick and I believe their third round pick to go and get him. And, you know, second round, they get linebacker Nick Bolton out of Missouri, center Creed Humphrey out of Oklahoma, edge Joshua Kando out of Florida State. Tight end Noah Gray out of Duke, wide receiver Cornell Powell out of Clemson, and guard Trey Smith out of Tennessee. All of these, to me, were value picks. They did yep. a pretty good job. Creed Humphrey, I think, can start day one. He can play center or guard. Uh, Nick Bolton mm-hmm. is a stand-up. He's not the most athletic guy, but he is somebody that can absolutely make plays, and he can track guys down. I mean, if you watch some of his highlight film, he can he can get after fast, fast wide receivers. I mean, he tracked down Kadarius Toney multiple times in their game. Um Joshua Kando from Florida State, like, didn't produce a lot last year, but you can tell he's uh, he's freakish athletic. I, I like that. I Trey Smith falling as far as he did. That's all based on medical. So long as he is healthy, he right. will be able to play. I, I like everything about this. Me too. I lo- I like what the Chiefs did. Look, we knew the Chiefs' weaknesses, and I don't give a damn what any website says. This is what the Chiefs' weaknesses were. They needed to protect Patrick Mahomes. We saw the problem in the Super Bowl, and they were susceptible against the run, especially in the red zone, one of the worst red zone run-stopping defenses in the league. So they go out. They trade their first-round pick. They get Orlando Brown. I could, I didn't see an offensive lineman in the first round that I would rather have over Orlando Brown right now, so I thought it was a great move. And then Nick Bolton adding that he's a good young linebacker. Everything I've read about this kid tells me he should be a really, really solid contributor right away for this defense stopping the run. So they said, okay, we got our asses kicked in the Super Bowl. We kind of we got embarrassed. We're going to address those needs, and we're going to do it right now. And their offensive line didn't just get better. It got substantially better with the addition of Brown. You're 100% right. Creed Humphrey is probably going to be their starting center. A guy who didn't allow a sack in two full years at a Power 5 school – Come on, man. I love those type of picks, especially in the second round. Love what the Chiefs did with this draft. Yeah, I liked it. I thought they did pretty good. I, I didn't really take into effect the trade, which is which is what they got their first round pick for. But but I guess I should have because that's that's absolutely the way you got to do this. As long as they're not giving up multiple picks. But if they just sure. give up a first for a player, then that's their first round pick. And and yeah, Orlando Browns. He fills that hole. That offensive line is much better than they were last year, probably. And uh, it, they're definitely going to be better than they were in the Super Bowl. Um, and, and this team got substantially better. But this is what we're finding when you look at all these teams is, is the teams that don't have glaring needs or are already talented across the board seem to be able to draft much better than everybody else. Even though this team actually does have holes in knees, they were able to fill those needs pretty well. Well, I mean, I, I think the biggest thing about that is you don't have to overthink yourself, right? Like, you yeah. you see a pick, you know its value. And even if it is for a need, you know, all right, well, it, even if we have to reach a little bit, we can do that. Or if it's a value pick, yeah, we can we can do that too. Like, there's so many yeah. different things you can do when you are a well-run franchise, and that's exactly what the Chiefs are right now. Yeah, so. 100% agree. And and look, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, we th- there's there's two ways of thinking about it, right? Take the best player on the board and just sort it out later. But when you are a team who really doesn't have any of these huge glaring weaknesses and you just go and fill those little needs that you have, the Chiefs are going to be the favorite to win the Super Bowl again. They've got the best player on the planet in Patrick Mahomes. That offense is going to be unstoppable again as long as everyone stays healthy. They address their needs, address some of that run-stopping need, which they really need to do on the defensive side of the ball, especially in the playoffs. They need to be able to get off the field and get Mahomes back on the field. And I think they addressed all those needs beautifully. And Britt Reed won't be there, so there's another distraction. You don't have to worry about some psychopath who can't make any good decisions. Andy Reed just has to keep his bad kids away from the team, all right? Just keep these bad <laughs> kids. I know it seems a little heartless, whatever, but when your son's an asshole, keep him away from your job. That's what I do. Not a bad idea. <laughs> He's not it's always a- an asshole, but sometimes. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Chris, you got any uh, any final comments on it? No, man. Uh, I think that's it. Let's 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.